and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over some of the content that will be coming to us within a very short period of time. Now, there's quite a few things to cover. Something huge is honestly coming, guys. Like, we have a lot of stuff coming to this game soon, and the game won't be the same. I promise you guys, as a Madden player since Madden 13, oh, I'm Madden Ultimate player. I've been playing since like Madden 10, but as a Madden Ultimate player since Madden 13, the same thing happens every year. Now, back in Madden 13, Madden 14, like 25, whatever, that area was a little bit different because we had 99 overall players by like October. So things were slightly different. But ever since they kind of got their like their act together and they made it so that we can have a longevity in this game, the game has always had the same trend. All the way to Christmas, and then zero chill, and then we get the team of the year, the whole content in January, and then everything hits like 99, and then things start to kind of like come down a little bit. So the game really starts to peak at the end of this month as far as like because think about it, right? You can only hit 99 once. Once you hit 99, it's not as exciting. So, like, this is going to be the month where we start hitting all those 99s. Everything's super hype. But then after that, everything's going to be 99. So, now that the game goes downhill, but the excitement of cards go a little bit down just a slight bit. So, this is the month where things really start to bang. Now, I'll go over all that in this video, guys. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys for hitting 17K. You guys are going crazy. Our community is growing crazy fast. Thank you guys for that. The next big milestone is 20K. Hopefully, we can get there by the end of February. That is the goal. Guys, this is awesome. The way to keep this up, you guys want to keep helping me grow, comment down below whenever you have the chance to and like the video, guys. Can we get 350 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. You guys have been killing it with the likes as of late. And this should be going up at 1030, so let's get a let's get a popping 1030 vid. Now let's get back into the vid. So, what I was saying was, essentially, this month is going to be a peak month for player excitement of cards. So remember, within the next about five or six days, we'll be getting team of the year. Within about the next, give or take, 13 to 14 days we'll be getting the super bowl promo in the same amount of time we'll probably be getting some sort of mini pro bowl solo type card stuff which in years past i've had some pretty cool stuff with that i don't know if they'll do it this year and then in about 20 days 22 23 days we'll be getting the nfl honors give or take so remember in about a two to three and a half week span we'll be getting about 32 of the year cards about like 15 to 20 super bowl cards about like seven nfl honor cards and maybe a few Pro Bowl cards. Going to be an influx, an absolute influx of cards, guys. It's going to be kind of overwhelming for the most part. Now you have to remember now all the stuff coming out. First off, the market never, the market never makes it past January. So I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys something right now. Like the market has stability right now, some borderline stability. You can see it coming down, but there's everything goes to hell after the end of January as far as overalls and ratings. Like budget teams are never going to be better to make. So see all these cards? They still have some value at 200. After January is over, these cards will be like 120, 125. All these cards here will be like 130, 145. Everything's gonna crash down because by the time by the time January is done, 94s, 95s will be irrelevant because by the time January is done, we'll have 97s and 98s, and these cards can be powered up and chemed up to 99s. So with John Madden, with chems, with anything like that, they will be 99 overall. So we're gonna get to and the first not well the first 99 legit is a Super Bowl. Super Bowl MVP. So we will be getting the first legit 99 at the end of January, beginning of February anyways, depending on whenever they update the player item. So we're getting our first 99 this month or the very, very early February. Not to mention, okay, players can already be chemmed up around 98, 97 anyways. So guys, we're going to be getting an influx of everything. I'm telling you, this is going to be the turning point of Madden from a uh, overall standpoint. Now you're going to be focusing more on cards you like people you like because everything maxed out camera is going to be similar with 99s you can be focusing more it's going to be a, a little more fun though because you're gonna be able to focus on what you like what you want maybe build a theme team or two that's when things start to change a little bit and how you play the game you're not just grinding because right now you're just grinding for the best overall every time it comes out you kind of stop having that stress having to get the new card every time because every card's gonna be 99 which is kind of cool and i'll take you guys over to mudhead real quick just show you guys kind of the overalls that was really loud i'm sorry i'm gonna take you guys over to mudhead to see the overalls so you guys can get an idea of what i'm talking about real quick so real quick, just gonna go over the team of the year for like a second because you guys have seen this. Top players last year, Bobby Wagner, Todd Gurley, Miles Garrett, Drew Brees. Those are the highest overall cards right there. Those alone were able to be counted up to a 99. Now remember, um, I don't know if they'll be 98 this year. They might be 97s just for the pure fact that overalls have always been like, one, they've been like one notch behind this year, which is good because they'll make the game last a little bit longer. But we'll probably end up with like 97s and 96s that could be counted up to like 97, 98, 99, especially if they drop 98s. Now, remember, we also have a few other things, such as the Super Bowl promo, which will also introduce a lot of other stuff. So first, we have Super Bowl Pass, which introduced 97s, Jack Tatum, 
97 Keyshawn Johnson, 97 Reggie White, 97 Franco Harris, 97 Elway, 97 Clark, 97 Barber, 97 Rodney Harrison, 95 Lynch. These 97s will all be able to be, if they're powered up, they'll be 98s, and if they're chemmed up, they'll be like 99s. Again, if they're 96s off the rip, then they'll probably just end up being 98, 99s anyways. And then we got Super Bowl present. So look at all those 97s right there. Then we're going to have, we had 99 Edelman as the MVP. So whoever the MVP is gets 99. Now, I don't know who it's going to be this year. I don't know who's making the Super Bowl, but you get the point. I don't know why I see like three of them here. But there were 97 uh, Sue, 97 Gronk, 97 Peters, 97, 96 Golf. There's going to be a ton of high-rated players Super Bowl. And then on top of all that, we're going to get the NFL Honors, which again is one of the most fun promos all year. As you guys can see here, we got Darius Leonard, 98, Saquon Barkley, 98, Aaron Donald, 98, Patrick Mahomes, 98, Andrew Luck, 97, Chris Long, 97. So we're going to get an influx of 98s, 97s, which powered up the 98s are already 99, and the 97s powered up and coming up will be 99. But these will be legitimate 99s up here. So we'll probably get like a 99 Lamar Jackson, maybe 99 Nick Bosa, which I don't know if they'll actually end up giving us that Nick Bosa because I don't know if they want to give us that player for free. Oh, they didn't give us a Saquon for free last year, so it's possible. And then just, just alone, you guys pretty much get the point here. We're going to be getting a crazy influx of stuff. We're going to have multiple 99s. So first off, a lot of the other cards are going to be irrelevant, which is good for some people because that does mean that a lot of budget squads, no money spent teams can finally acquire Bo Jackson, the Gurley, the Mahomes. You, you, you could acquire your little baby God squad for a much, much discounted price while still being able to kind of compete because of the way chems work this year. And they have worked the last two years. But you guys pretty much get the point here. These are kind of like, and you want to see the stats like Saquon Barkley, like a 95 speed, which again, isn't too crazy. Patrick Mahomes though, this card was pretty crazy. 97 throw on the run, 95 throw short, 91 throw mid. Gonna have all the thresholds on this Mahomes as well as the high speed. And then it will fits Lamar though. This new Lamar is gonna have every single threshold. So we should be pretty excited for this. The point is, guys, setting over to the man screen, I'll continue out the video, but you guys, I think you guys get it. Overall, guys, I think there's going to be carnage on the auction block, carnage throughout the game on what you see right now. What you thought was good is going to be gone. Like, Michael Vick probably, after this month is over, probably will only go for, like, 275. Terrell Owens and Champ Bailey will probably go for, like, 315, 275 also. I don't think they're going to go for that much. Because just think about it. If all these 99s, 98s, 97s are out, why would you want one of these cards? Especially when, Lam oh, when Lamar comes out. Lamar will single-handedly kill the Vic market when that happens. You know, it's not already dead to begin with. Willis, like I've been saying, for 600, 700K, sell his ass because he's not going to last that much longer either. We're going to get other linebackers. We're going to get new cards in general. It doesn't have to be just a linebacker that will kill him in price. Other cards are going to be better. Training value will come down. It's going to affect him at some point. But you guys can see like there's some huge moves coming. I think total we're going to get, like let's see, 30 cards. Let's say high rated cards. We'll probably get from Team of the Year like 15 high rated cards. From Super Bowl, we got like, we're gonna get like another 15 high rated cards with one of the highest rated cards. NFL Honors, we're gonna get like six to seven high rated cards, depending. There were six last year, but that's because Patrick Mahomes won two awards and losses out in a player. But we're gonna get like 15, I'll say like 15, 15, 30, seven. We'll easily end up with like 30 to 40 high rated cards that completely just attack the market. And this isn't just about the market, it's about like Madden in general. So that's why I've been telling you guys, don't fall in love with your players. Don't hold on to them for so long. Like sell Willis, sell these guys, because I'm telling you, by the end of this month, you're going to wish you had coins. Because right now you have this great team, right? In about a month, your team will be worth half the value. If you just if you just wait a few more weeks, you'll be able to get like, and by then you can, you can wait for endgame, right? Because at that point, if you get Lamar 99, you get uh, J Jack Tatum 99, you get Julian Edelman 99. Well, let's hope it's not Edelman, but you get the point. You can have those players all year. So for the same coinage that you're spending now, you can have a God squad that lasts you the whole year for the same coinage, but the difference is you're spending it early being impatient. So you're going to end up spending more for less if you guys send, if you guys get what I'm saying. But the point is here, guys, be smart, be ready. I hope this brought you some awareness of what's about to happen because it's going to be big. Playoff promo didn't affect things too much. But that's just the playoff promo wasn't that great. Team of the year is going to be great. Super Bowl is going to be awesome, especially because people love playing Madden during the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter what the players are. People love playing Madden during the Super Bowl. Maybe we'll get another blitz like we did last year for the Super Bowl. going to be a lot of things. And then right after NFL Honors, we get like a tiny break, and then we start heading towards like the Easter promo. And I don't know what comes in between that. We'll eventually get the free agency promo, the, the you know the biggest movers. We're going to get a lot of stuff, but that's later. That's like endgame Madden. We're talking about like this is still relevant prime Madden. So just letting you guys know, be ready for all that. Don't, don't. Don't spend all your coins this next coming week on Team of the Year. Wait a little bit. They will come down. Last year, I made the mistake, too, of spending all these coins on Team of the Year. In about two weeks, they were all half the price. Instead of 800K, they were like 600K. Instead of 500K, they were like 345. Just wait a little bit. And then wait for NFL Honors and Super Bowl. They'll drop their own price down. And then you can buy them. As well as...
you know sure as hell you're gonna want some NFL honor cards. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. This might be going up around 10:30 today, depending on if we have any content or not. So stay tuned for that, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, boys. Let's keep grinding out to 20k. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Smash the like button. Can we get 350 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. And comment down below if you have any questions regarding this or hit me up on Twitter. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.